I'm guessing this train's still on the way for a reason. That's odd. Oh no. Whoa, easy. Relax. Killed a turkey. Get back here. Well, there goes my horse. Trying to call him back. Yep. Get over here. Okay, then, girl. I don't know where you think you're going. Yeah. wrong. Please, sir, please stop. Oh, I beg you. Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just cut. Can't think of a good reason to say no. You take my horse oh, and kill you. Thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, Yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I uh, no, I'm just visiting. I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Come on, man. Okay, now where was I? Ah, yes. I cannot follow you at this pace. So up now. Easy, easy. Oh, are we close to town? Yep. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, there you go. Where am I supposed to be going? Up in them hills. And in four? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat. The pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, 
I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. All right. Well, uh, uh, so I guess we're going after a stupid cougar up in the mountains. Yeah. Go ahead and get rid of that waypoint. Let's go. Drive, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive. Okay, follow me. Drive. I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss. He knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Boy, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. I can't keep pace for nothing. We're going right here, up the stream. So just right up here. What's supposed to be up here? Hey, how about this then? I guarantee you paint. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. I gotta squeeze you like a lemon. It's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. The cap. Don't look to me like we are. It's in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats. This one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Try. Won't let me shoot him. Don't you slip on me. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. You're trying to get us killed. I do have a shotgun, don't I? Like, better than a double barrel or no? I don't think I do. No, just a double barrel. I need to start saving money for more weapons. All right, you better be on to something, my man. All right, show me. We'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. What if I don't want to? He's the one with the lamp. You hear that? No. Here. no. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. You're trying to get us killed. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for... I don't trust yeah, you. Yeah. Can I have a weapon out with it? No. I'm gonna get killed. No. Uh-uh. 
There's gonna be like a demon in here or something. Wedding house? There's a corpse down here. An old one. What's it got on it? Mess around with me, boy. He's probably dead. Oh, I got dishonored for the kind of dumb. How much is this cougar eat? She got it. crap. Damn dead dead. He's dead. That's nice. there friend how can I help you? it's gonna make me sell it well which one is it really appreciate it Winton's debt money Thank you. good enough I guess now I go back to the camp, wherever that is.
I know you're close. I Whoa. feel you tickling my britches. Satan? Yeah, I get that a lot. So, what's that you got there? You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well... Hey, why the hurry, partner? I got a hot tail. Don't you follow me now. Yeah. Hey there! I got the toad! Yeah! Alright. I'm gonna go head over to camp, I guess. Those uh, duck carcasses are still over there. I shot earlier. Cool. I think I already sold everything they had on them. I got here. I got a Lancaster. Oh, are those big horns? I need some of them. They're prong horns. And this is a doe. I shot a doe. I know, girl. Just give me a second. Man. Okay, girl. I need to go back to camp anyways, because I've got piles of meat that I need to give to that one dude. Look out. Whoa. Wonder if there's anything out here. Doesn't look like it. Now come on. Yeah, no. That takes dead eye. That's stupid. About ready to have to eat all my food already. Thank you. 
Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Hey, stop right where you are. Easy. Who are these people? I don't know you people. Hey, good plan, fellas. <laughs> good plan, fellas. They're all laying here dead. That's funny. Yep. Keep seeing animals, but I don't have a chance to shoot them. There's okay. some. See if any of them got anything other than a poor carcass. Here's a good one. I'm heading back to camp anyways. I might as well you know, take them whole. Many as I can. I'll take this one. Set him up here. I don't know how many I can carry on my horse though. Probably just two. This is a good one too. They're turkeys. Eastern wild turkeys. And go get the other two. I don't know if that other thing was even a turkey. Yeah, it was. No, it was a badger. I don't know if I'd have any use for that thing. I mean, it's it's a good carcass, so maybe. Let's see if I can't stow it. No, I'd have to swap it. Oh well. Let's hope I don't hit anything. Out of the way, man. Hey, mister. That's one nice looking horse you got there. How about we see how fast it is? First one to Caliga Hall. No, no, I'm good. Thanks. All right. Suit yourself. You got other things to do. This horse sucks anyways. It's not fast. Who's that? Man coming in. Welcome back. Lenny really asked who I was. Hey, I've got what he needs, though. Why can't I? Here's some of that bird off root you wanted. Oh, you actually? Well, thank you. This will make a good batch, all right. Okay. It's good to be warm. Sure. 
can practically smell the campfire smoke. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Oh no. Just gave away some of my good supplies. That's yeah, whatever. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Hi there, Arthur. Crafting upgrades. What do we got here? Probably nothing. Nice additions, Ronnie. No, I don't have a good boar skin. Well, I just gave the camp like $47 out of my 60, so. Good enough, I guess. I'd rather not play Five Finger Filet with Micah. Yeah, I'd rather not do the... What is this? Newspaper clipping. Jack, where are you? Over here. Former Finian Raider killed in gun battle. Gover government agents who had pursued him for many years once upon a trade farm. I wonder if that's his dad. as well. campfire over there. What are those? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill that.
Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. All right. Climb on up. Let's go. Yeah. So that's it. I just Our slap fall. a sheriff's star on, and all of How a sudden, I'm part of the law. Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself. Oh. <laughs> Yes, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the other stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? What about it? It's just a destroyed wagon. Flies. I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Any supplies I could take? Come on, mister. Keep your 
It's not going to let me take anything. No. This must have happened recently. Hmm. Hey, come have a look at this. Man. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Alright, let's get going. Oh, wait, I can't get on my horse, can I? I gotta ride with this joker. Would you mind taking the reins? I wanna have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. So I gotta drive from the right side? Yeah. Sure, I guess. Okay. No. Frederick Mitchell. Kind of weird. State legislator. Staying on the right side of the road yes, while driving the on the right side. The Raiders to me, bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Go right at the crossroads. Yep, not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash. My uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Uncle Town Reginald. Town preacher and town sheriff. A drink a sailor under the table. Hey, slow it down a bit. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of... Seriously? Don't do it. Don't do it, I'm telling you. Right now, you committed a crime in front of a deputy. I pulled out my pistol and aimed at the ground. That's a crime. You're going to prison. Are you kidding me? What kind of cruel joke is that? Taking the reins. I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Whatever, man. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Easy. We ain't in that much of a hurry. Yeah, we are. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. They're right again here. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Tap hey, hey, not so fast! Drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring what are we alive, doing? understood? Round them up, and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found our... ...barack's nest, our excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? What's the difference? We'll take the left. Let's Feel like stop these way. filthy degenerate tax dodge. We gonna cut their throats? Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out. 
and then tie him up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? How am I supposed to stay low? Get down! It won't let me get down. I kind of want to try it, but I'm also nervous. You wait here. I'll do with him. Okay. Make it quick. I'll tie this bastard up. I, I think there's another one by the still. They're not going to get him, are they? Dutch and that other deputy are worthless, I guess, is what this is turning out to be. It's what it looks like. Deal with the last one, get him to the wagon. Just broke a bottle over his head. That works. We really took out some moonshiners. If I drop him in the water, he's probably going to drown. Add him to the pile, Arthur. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about that. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Where exactly am I planting it? Just anywhere? Alright. Just planting a bunch of it around? going on up here. This gun need to be cleaned again. It's not very accurate. Where's my horse? I need my rifle. Need a rifle of some kind. Hit him again. There's more coming up from those huts. You don't want to die, does it? I'm gonna try to loot them. Take whatever they got.
surprised I'm not dead looting all these corpses. I don't think I've got much that's worth anything. Oh, a silver pocket watch. There's something. Silver clamp buckle. Taking as much off their corpses as I can, man. It's probably about all I'm gonna get. All right, I'll see you over there. My men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I'd better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin... Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life on right. a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. <laughs> we just conned him. Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over. Will you? Gun down. Let me loot it real quick. Written all over it. This is oh, I can't. Sound like the young Dutch again. I can't get off my horse. Young Dutch. I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Yeah. I don't care. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. That horse is a lot better than mine, it looks like. You know Never were much of a rider. We'll see about oh. that. No, well, my horse has a stimulant in it, so I'm gonna get there first. Might be a close tie. I sure hope you ride faster than that when the law's on your tail.
I think my horse is just fine. Definitely one. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> Well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. American distillation. <laughs> See if I can't give away more. Where's Pearson? I posted that letter for you. Guess not. Guess he's not interested. Okay. Well. Folks seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. That we have, Reverend. Have a fine time, sir. You spoken to Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Morgan. Give the silver ring. And give all five of these. There we go. Hey, Uncle. Howdy do. What's the ledger have on it? It's everything for me. Is that an upgrade? Like a permanent upgrade? All right. Those are resupply. There we go. Upgrade all remaining lodgings, improves the overall mood of camp. Doesn't look like much of an upgrade for three hundred dollars. Huh. Those would certainly be some nice things to have, I'm not gonna lie. So we need 
Wait, what? Increase armory supplies. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. You didn't get far. Not bad. And then some of this stuff would be nice too. If I can get money for it. I'll see if I can. You people want to eat or not? I'll go ahead and donate all my money. Just so that way. You know. Camp's restocked after that drain there. Well, things are looking good now. Let's see what we got. I need plenty over here. I'll probably have to restock it though. Yeah. need arrows, I need all this stuff. Looks like I took just about everything we had. Fire bottle. Shotgun shells, what else do we have? Rifle cartridges. Yeah, now I gotta restock it because I was a little too greedy there. Got what I need though. Might as well look at the ledger. <clears throat> Medicine, provisions, ammo. There we go. Some hair pomade. Oh, hey, Arthur, uh, For the hair he doesn't have. <laughs> Don't I already have it? Here's that uh, hair pomade you wanted. Well, look at that. Thanks, Morgan. I, I owe you one. I reckon we should both just forget this ever happened. Damn it, Bill. Uh. So, how are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. I'll get on those debts. Good, good. Didn't I already collect there. all the debts? Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. Thought I already got everything. There he is. The proud Englishman. Don't fight other man's battles, boy. And anyway, my family weren't even English. Mr. Whatever you say, King Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> King Arthur. So you got a plan for that moonshine? I'm working on it. Okay. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. 
All right, let me go run over to that place and do that other mission. Hey. What is it, though? Okay. Yeah, I didn't have to go far for that one, huh? Yeah, girl. Yeah, okay. That's not... No. What am I supposed to do? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off. So now I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking on. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way, bunch of smart Alex. How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all five minutes. Well, <laughs> while wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, Whoa. maybe. So what is it you scoped here, exactly? Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be what are we doing now? Just standing here? When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! My God. Now, don't try anything stupid! And we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So, you know... <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. We're gonna come to regret this. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! 
can't just shoot them and take what they got too. Or we don't want to hurt them. Yeah, we don't want to hurt him, I think, is what's going on here. Okay. We could easily win that battle. Did we not take the money? Pretty easy. In, boys. Come on. Can't just shoot the idiots. Yeah, there's a good amount of them. Still fight them though. We could have shot them all, but okay. Shot a lot of them. Telling our horses to hit the hit the road. Get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watching now. Sure. Well, we. Uh, Get some rest. Ugh. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I hate it. Let's just... Keep this calm. See what happens. Something's going on. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh, uh, I, why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Oh my god. Better not be. Alright. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Sir. Yeah, come check out the barn. Come on over, I won't bite. Maybe just a little bit. I'll shoot that lantern out your hand and come toward me. Why can't we draw? Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Who the hell are these people? Could have knocked him out. You guys didn't shoot. Of course, I didn't get my rifle off my horse. Tried to stop him. Where's that come? Behind me. Uncle. What happened to keep this cold, Arthur? They were sick and from finding us anyway. This fella really don't like getting raw. Let's just hope we don't run out of bullets. How about we 
we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall, all right? Put a bullet in that tracker! Just a disaster. Oh, I do have my repeater. That'll make everything easier. God, sit still. They ain't closed in on nothing. I think after they got shot, they'd run away. They won't run away from the fight for nothing. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, you wanna follow? Killed him. Arthur! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there, why the... Just making an old man suffer. Let's make this quick. I'm a busy man. I ain't gonna miss your ass! Uh oh Clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand. Great, another gunfight.
We all still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Quan. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quan. Run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Might as well loot at least one of them. Those are rocks. Look what the cat dragged in. So, Uncle? Don't say it. I know I messed up. Just do more groundwork next time. Well, I should get back to it. Uh -huh. You okay? Greetings, my boy. Hope you're working on a plan there. Always. Anyway, won't disturb you. All right, then. Well, I think I'm going to give it all to the camp, everything I've got, because I want that chicken coop. I don't know why you couldn't, like, sell the eggs or something and make some honest money, but I guess we're not in the business of doing that over here. Might as well give at least a hundred. There you go. Hey. Hello, Arthur. Why not? I'll play some. Sounds like some easy money. How many times am I supposed to do it? As many as I can. Ooh. Here goes nothing. I 
A, B, A, B, A, B. Okay. I'll do A, B. Should be pretty easy. And... Go. Just luck, huh? I'm about good. I'll leave before you lose a hand. Hasta luego. Hey, Arthur. I left a box of ammunition by your tent. A thank you for getting me that pomade. Okay. Well, thanks, Bill. So you told Jose about the moonshine? Yes, he's got some plans. <laughs> what was that? Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. So, what do you think of this place? Seems fine for now. I know Gentlemen, Karen likes a man in uniform way I hear it. <laughs> All right. Hello, Arthur. Still had the deputy star on. All right, huh? well, I should be getting off. You got it, Mr. Morgan. Here he is, worst pimp in the history of the world. And you're acting like a big mouth lawman too, Arthur. I'm only joking with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, they have food over here. Canned salmon. Uh, I'm good on that. I don't want no canned salmon. Yeah, I'd say the camp's looking pretty good now. Hi there. Pearson. Alrighty. I think to save, I just have to go here, right? So we're at 